golf cart. So there you go. I'm not having a good time today. I have to go do a procedure this afternoon. The gastrointelligerologist department. Swallow a camera. They're always going inside of me and finding new stuff that nobody likes. But no point sitting around feeling sorry for myself. I've been blessed with a good life already, so really when you look at it every day I get, if I get it, is it just a great bonus from on top of everything I didn't deserve in the first place so I'm just hungry and I gotta go for four and a half hours without eating before this procedure starts and it might take two or three hours so they say they're gonna put air down inside of me too and that the air will make me burp that's just mean Oh, I'm anxious to get to heaven where nobody's mean at all ever again. Where love is the dominant human emotion instead of selfishness. Won't that be a twist on paradise? I'm telling you, I can't hardly wait. Just when you least expect it, interesting stuff will happen in life. That's the way it works. This is all going somewhere, so just give me a little attitude here, all right? So when you look at me, you probably see just an ordinary guy. No big deal. Nothing to get excited about. Just a man. reason for any alarm or concern but nothing to get excited about well here's what you're missing see I was created by the God of the universe in miraculous unbelievable fashion by any man's standards no man can reproduce the kind of an entity that God made me to be now, it just seems right that I should film that once in a while and put it on YouTube. Don't you think? So here I am, vlogging along. You know, like I do. Assuming that one day... Me and God will not be the only one to understand the concept. And that maybe some of you people will watch a video or something. It could happen. Settle down. It could happen. These could be up there for centuries. We don't know. I haven't read the fine print on YouTube's storage, you know, policies or anything. But I'm just saying... If there's a possibility that someone might eventually watch one of my videos, then there might be some sort of a reason for continuing to make them. That's all. Now, I'd see the point that it would be good to just give it up. If someone were to make that about, say, a, a, a yellow bucket laying on the side of the road like that. It's just laying there, it's not doing anything. 
It hasn't got a whole lot of abilities. It doesn't understand. It can't articulate. It can't consider things and, you know, express its deepest heartfelt emotions about them to the public. It, it's just a tub sitting upside down on a curb, okay? I would not say that it's probably a good idea, even if it's unique, the only tub like that. I would not necessarily say that we should put a video of that on YouTube every day. But when you have something as complex and intricate as a human being, my goodness, you ought to be sharing yourself with everybody. I think, well, I would not criticize the Lord. He knows more than I do. But it just would have seemed like a good idea if he'd have decided to make everybody be born with a flip cam in their hand, you know, to me. Now that we're in the YouTube era and all, you know, you're entitled to your opinion too, that's okay, I don't mind, it's fine, this is the way I'm looking at it today. way to swallow the camera. It's pretty exciting stuff, you know. Just wait till you're an old man and you can do stuff like this too. Because it's pretty amazing. I'm, I'm not kidding around here. You know, they would give me stuff to keep me from gagging and all kinds of junk, you know. Who knows, they may get down there and see something that says, hey, we got to have a better look at that. And they may send a couple, three more cameras and some bigger lights or something down, you know. Maybe a fire hose to wash things off so they get a good picture. I don't know. And after all that fun and games, that's not even the real excitement of it. They could get in there and find something wrong with me. I'm kind of figuring they'll probably find something ugly and unusual when they go in there. That's just what I'm used to. But they said it could even be cancer of the stomach. I'm thinking, don't tell a human being a thing like that. Leastwise, until you know you have to, for Pete's sake. But they just let me know that it was a possibility. I guess they thought it was fair for me to get to know too. So I've got that going for me. Yeah, it's bound to be a real good day. Bound to be a real good day. But anyway, that's what I'm up against today, so... Pray for me, YouTube. All of you. Right, they don't find any ulcers or any cancers or anything but just some simple little thing they can twist and tweak a little bit and make my whole life perfect again. <coughs> <coughs> Turn me back into a 20 year old. Yeah, I'm going over to Kaiser so hang on. It'll be good. Here's a church. It's a round one, kind of, isn't it? Look at that. Lutheran church, that is. Okay, we're just getting ready to go in and swallow this camera. I'm still not looking forward to it. Okay, these are clouds. This is the road. And this is Judy's car. Driving me home from the test. I just had my blockage diagnosed in my esophagus. No cancer. No uh, funny animals running. 
running around inside me or anything like that. I'm going to have to do some x-rays now that we've done the endoscopy and see what if the x-rays show what's going on. Hey, wait a minute, that means there could still be animals hiding in there. Well, we'll just have to wait and find out. No animals. Yeah, old age is going to be a lot of fun. I know. <laughs> I guess that's why Daryl and his sisters and brothers-in-law think we should all be together. Interesting. Although, we have good genes, Wally and I, because Mom is really with it. And she's pretty old. Yeah. Yeah, if I get this blockage taken care of, I'm going to probably live forever. Yeah. <laughs> That nurse before I went in was asking me if I had some sort of last will and testament. But, you no, know, I'm just going to live forever.